How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and uh, today's video is going to be again on Android File Host. Uh, last video we did we talked about setting up an account and actually requesting developer access or developer status and as you can see here I now have a developer tab. So we're going to go through a couple things on here. The main thing we're going to talk about is how to upload files but let me just give you kind of a rundown of what's in here. Um, so we can go ahead and we can update our profile and write something about our account or about us if we want to do that. You can update your avatar, your little icon, so you can do that. You can add contact links to your website or email or any ways that you want people to get a hold of you. You can add a donate link, which would be to like PayPal, so people can donate if they enjoy your work as a developer. You can um, manage your authorization for Twitter, so you can allow Twitter to tweet out um, that you've uploaded a new file if you select that option. There's a bunch of things you can do. You've also got followers and you can see who's following you and you can kind of control and manage those. But those are pretty self-explanatory. The main one I want to talk about is right here because this is a little confusing and it says device and file manager. So we're going to click on this file, through this link I should say. And you can see here there's no real file manager here, right? The only button you have is device. So we're going to click on this. And the way this is, works is you go ahead and you search for your device. So I'm going to type in uh, Amazon, because I'm going to add an Amazon device, and hit enter. And what I found in searching, the least amount of letters you put in, the more search results come up, because it has to find a perfect match. So what I found is I want this Fire 2015 tablet. That is should be the fifth gen. You can see other ones, Fire TV, and so on. I'm going to go ahead and hit add a device or add to my devices and then I'm going to go back to devices. Now in that file manager you can see or device slash file manager you can see you have something here to work with. You can also see up here that you have settings but now you also have file manager and file manager is just going to bring you back to this page you see it's just the same thing. So file manager up here or in settings um, under developer tab device and file manager both of them bring you to this same page. So we have a device added, now we can upload files. So to do that is you go into manage files for that specific device. And you have two options here. So you can add a folder or you can add a files. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a folder. So to add folders, we're going to click on this one. And I want to add a folder called super tool because that's what I'm going to upload in a second for you guys. So we'll call it Super Tool, and I'm making it, you can make it restricted, hidden, or public. I'm going to go ahead and make it public, because I want to be able to download from here. Alright, so now within the root of the, this device, I've added the Super Tool. Now what you want to do is you want to enter that to then upload files to that file. So if you want to enter that folder, you click on the link right here, and now you're in that folder, so you can see you're kind of building here. There's, there's the device, there's the folder you're in. Now we're going to upload a file to here. So to do that, we're going to hit the file button. And you can see you can now upload things. And there's a couple different ways we can do it, and I'll try to show you two different ways. Um, so number one is just a web upload. There's a limit of 20 files at a time you can upload, so that's very important to note. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to select one. And let me just go to where my all my files are at. I'll get there in a second. So here you go, here's all my files, there's the fifth gen. So I'm gonna upload my super tool right here. And that added one, right? So we're gonna go ahead and let that upload. But the other way you can do it is you can know where your files are already, so here's mine. And then you can just drag one in and let go of it. And that also will allow you to do uploading on here, which is really cool. So you can see they're starting to move across the bottom here. But while they're doing that, let me talk about a couple other things. So you also have what server you want to upload to. So right now, I am selected the Texas server. There's a Florida, there's a Quebec, Canada, and then there's Europe or Germany servers. So you can pick what server you want to upload to, maybe one you're closer to or one's faster than another one. So you have some options there as well. All right, so once these upload, um, I'll show you how to maneuver them a little bit more. Alright, so we have some progress here. You can see that it tells you that one file is completed of two. So there's some progress bar there you can look at. You can see what file is completed. If there's any errors, you'll get it and it'll come up in red and it'll show you that there was an error in the upload. And then you're going to want to upload it again. Alright, so here you go. We've got these done. 
What I'm going to do is scroll back up here. We're going to go back to devices and just show you what this is going to look like. And for somebody downloading them, it's going to look like just like this, except for it's not going to have a delete device on there. So we're going to go in here, and you can see again we have this super tool, right? We can click into that folder, and then there's your two files. Now there's a couple things you want to note about this information right here. So right here you have this edit button, and what's really cool about the edit button is you can come in here, and then you can type up a description about what this is. So you can say, you know, like, this installs Google Play Store, all right? Just for example, I didn't even type that right. And hit save, boom. Now when somebody looks at it, you can see this right below it, it tells you that same information so that there's a little elaboration on what this is. So that's pretty cool. Besides that, you can obviously delete the file and then you can move the file. So let's click on move. And if you have a lot of devices, you can move it to a different device folder, which is fine. Or you can see it's in this folder, you can move it to the root of the directory. And I'll show you how to do that. So I'll do that one and we'll hit save. This basically allows you to restructure your all your files however you want. So now you can see it's not in the super tool anymore. And that file is actually right here. So now you have the folder, you have the file. Make sense? Because we moved it. Or I can move it right back into the super tool folder and we can put it back there. And now you just it's all inside there. So this is basically how you maneuver it around. It does show you an MD5. You do have a URL if you want to share it, which is really, really pretty sweet. So there you go guys, that's pretty much going to cover how to kind of structure your files and how to upload them very easily uh, to your, your host here to let other people download them. Um, it's pretty cool, very simple. Once you get the hang of it with the edit and the move and delete and the folder structure and how you have to set it up, it's not that bad. A little confusing, but uh, you'll definitely get a hang of it with a little bit of practice. That's going to wrap it up here for me guys uh, on Android File Host and uploading files to the server. Hope you guys like the video. Stay tuned. I'm going to be talking about FTP access and uh, getting that set up and getting permission for that and how to go about that probably in my next video. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.